the entire spice of marriage is the imperfection sitting there every day if the coffee tastes the same it is saravana bhavan coffee or coffee cafe day coffee anywhere in the world you go and order for a coffee from ccd and it tastes the same you don't know how it will taste it's called home <laughs> imperfection striving towards perfection is the very design of life otherwise there will be no growth in relationship it's not the question of whose mistake it's the question of whose life i'm driving my car and i see that there is a lorry which is coming on the wrong side i am on the right side but he is coming on the wrong side anybody here for me principles are everything when i know i'm right why should i adjust it is their mistake only so i will not adjust anyone of you will drive head on into the lorry for one or two minutes you will remember all these principles values i will not adjust when i know i am right once he comes close enough with some hindi bad words which you know <laughs> you will share and you will move and give him the way <laughs> because one question everybody asks me about life when i know i am right why should i adjust you are also on the road you know you are right he is only wrong Will you adjust or not? Adolescent ego is a very cute ego. It's not like an adult. An adult ego stings. There's too much of intelligence in an adult ego. An adolescent ego is a very cute ego. There's not too much of intelligence. Every cell in him also craves to talk to you. You can see in those eyes. there is longing there is dying to communicate and will not communicate but during these times you will have to understand how much we have shrunken what we call as communication which is verbal communication in fact when he is not talking to you you are not talking to him for whatever reason god's given gift for one week there is silence in the house <laughs> I think it's a magnificent opportunity for non-verbal communication. Gift. Simply, when you go, a gentle whack on his back and go. He can't get angry for a mother touching him, and even if he gets angry, he can't hit you back in return. He will do. Thota da, no. But he will like it. So when you get half a chance where verbal communication is not possible. bring in the non verbal communication and the non verbal communication is going to make you bond even even more if a relationship has to grow and if there has to be depth in a relationship there has to be freedom of expression of thoughts and feelings if you have thought about it say it if you have felt it express it and there will be overall balance in the relationship there will be times in expressing my feelings which have hurt me you will feel hurt when i express it but there will be a balance because there are times when i feel blossomed with certain feelings because of you and in sharing that with you you too will blossom but you bring in honesty into the relationship you bring transparency into the relationship you bring openness into the relationship what is going inside me you to know and then by i give you the freedom what is going inside you i too will know and an intimacy a closeness is built in that relationship and i want all mothers sitting here to know this children who find it difficult to handle you being strict during the growing years actually develop tremendous attachment to you they don't show it in the growing years all adults sitting here think about it it based on whether your father was very strict with you or your mother was strict with you whoever was more strict with you your attachment to them is much higher than the one who always pampered you think about it so don't be bothered about how they resist you during growing years but they develop a lot of attachment children like somebody to tell them do's don'ts why you should do why you should not and they really like it 
Dads will always appear favorite for children during their growing years because dads are part-time dads. Okay. They come for a little time and try to be as easy and impressive as possible. But eventually all your time and attention will pay back over a period of time.